Welcome back everyone. I'm pretty sure everyone has had a great couple days, you know, by me just dropping these videos like crazy. It probably has nothing to do with me or anything, but we're going to go ahead and talk about the iPhone 12 mini and compare that camera against the iPhone SE 2. I'm like so behind with these camera comparisons, so I'm trying my best to catch up. But with these two phones, I can definitely tell you what's interesting is, is that these two phones are the cheapest iPhones that came out in this year. So the iPhone SE 2, you can pick it up brand new for $399. The iPhone 12 mini, on the other hand, is $729. So this is going to be very interesting in my opinion. Now, the way I took both these phones and basically both photos and everything was I took them right side by side, right next to each other. Not side by side, but I took a group of phones, you know, took one photo, put it away, took another photo, literally in the same exact lighting conditions. It wasn't like these were hours or days away. These were literally like seconds away from each other probably. And I let all the photos and videos autofocus and everything. So it's probably as good as it can be. And what I can tell you is, is that the main advantage the 12 mini has is that it does have that ultra wide sensor. But really, there's a lot of similarities between both as well. And I, and I think the front camera is probably the biggest difference. You can do 4K at 60 on the 12 mini. The iPhone SE 2, you can only do 1080p at 60 on that front camera. So keep that in mind. That's kind of a subtle difference. But looking at this first photo, and for the remainder of these photos and videos, the 12 mini photos and videos will be on the right right here. The iPhone SE 2 photos and videos will be on the left. Now this first photo, I really didn't notice anything too crazy right out the gate. They both look pretty much the same. To be completely honest, like I said, I don't really notice anything crazy when you kind of zoom in though to like this you know specific little in thing in the middle of this leaf or whatever i do kind of see a little difference again it's nothing too crazy but i do see how the iphone 12 mini took a little bit of a better idea i guess a better focus point on this specific section if you look at the se2 it is kind of a little bit blown out a little bit not a crazy deal but it is something to kind of keep in mind and also if you look at this little stem part right here i feel like the 12 mini did a much better job at kind of you know keeping the stem portion a little bit more lively and cover color and a little bit more vibrant the SE2 looks a little bit different. The corners and everything look about the same. They almost look identically like the same photo, which is very interesting. But there are a couple of key differences, like even these corners right here. So for this first photo, that's pretty much how I would sum up this one. Now this next photo, I'm getting too ahead of myself. I kind of saw something interesting on basically all these phones. This is a dumb, this is a bad photo, I'll be honest. But I was surprised by the amount of differences that I was seeing on the other, you know, photos, for example. Now if I go and look into this top left corner on both, I don't really see anything too crazy. One thing I do see though right out the gate is that if you look right here, it's very subtle and you won't be able to tell unless you zoom in. The SE2 kind of did a little bit of a worse job when it comes to kind of overshadowing some colors. And that's something I'm kind of seeing on these older iPhones. The SE2 isn't even old, but that is something that I immediately saw right out the gate. With the iPhone 12 mini, you can see it kind of did a better job at kind of leveling out all those colors. And I think that's something that's extremely important when you have a device like this that can, you know, just take a photo and you can move on. That's something that's very important, but I didn't really see too many other differences that were super crazy. Crazy. One thing that I've been noticing is if you look at the little tripod leg right here, look at how the SE2 had so much more noise in this photo. Like it is a lot more noise, nothing too crazy, but it's definitely noticeable. The iPhone 12 mini, you can see same lighting condition. I mean, I had complete control of this light and it's exactly the same. You can see that the 12 mini did a much better job at rendering out all that noise. So definitely when it comes down to these two, the 12 mini probably is this gets my seal of approval for this one for sure. And this next one, very dumb photo. But one thing I've been seeing with these single camera setups is again, dark here, light here. Very different. I don't know which one you prefer, but that is something I was noticing. And if you look over here with the 12 mini, I think it does a lot better job at these darker photos and you'll see that later on. With the 12 mini, I, with the SE2, I mean a little bit darker, a little bit you know more noise going on here. And if you even look at this little section, look how much more smoother it looks on the iPhone 12 mini. On the iPhone SE2, it definitely looks a little bit more jagged in a way, so take that as you will. If you look at the blinds too, again, more noise overall on the iPhone SE2, a little bit more grainy, nothing too crazy, but definitely when you look at them, the 12 mini has a much better smoothening aspect to it. So definitely when it comes down to these two, I would definitely say the iPhone 12 mini, again, is the winner here for sure. Now the next photo looking at it, I mean this is a dumb photo, I don't even know why I keep bringing it up, but basically I wanted to see how both would kind of interpret both colors, and I don't really see too many crazy differences, if I'm being completely honest, they both look about the same, so in terms of this photo, we'll probably just let it slide, I'll probably give it to the 12 mini anyway. Now this outdoor photo was very surprising to me, because 
First of all, both phones did a really good job at, you know, rendering the colors and everything. And I really don't know if one is necessarily the winner every single time with these type of photos. But when you go ahead and zoom into this aspect and you go and zoom into this little area, you can kind of see that, yeah, it's very weird how both phones interpret both colors like I stated. I've always found that extremely weird in my opinion. It's the same lighting conditions, the same object, it's the same everything. But I really don't know if there's a complete winner. I feel like you're getting overall more details from something like the 12 mini photo than on the iPhone SE 2. If you look up top, again, you can kind of see again the iPhone SE 2. I'm not too sure what it was focusing on. It must have not been focusing on the right you know, part I wanted it to focus on. With the 12 mini, I would definitely say it looks a lot better for sure in this specific photo as well. Now this next photo was another one, if I can go ahead and get into it which was just the PlayStation 5 controller. And again, I like these type of photos because I pretty much have complete control over the lighting. It's not like a sunlight or anything, or I think it was sunlight, but it was like very good lighting regardless. And you can see that right out the gate, the 12 mini had did a weirder job at kind of over brightening and over filtering this photo in a lighter way. I think the iPhone SE 2 did a good job but one thing that's very interesting is that there's so much more dust, there's so much more noise going on with the iPhone SE 2 photo that I'm not really too sure what was going on with these. I don't know if one was like super crazy or something. That's kind of an insane thing that there's this much noise and this much dust. There just seems to be like not that much gradient going on with it or whatever that thing is. Maybe there's too much gradients. I honestly don't know the word I'm looking for. But the iPhone SE 2 did a much better job at overall smoothening out these specific areas. So that's something that I always do like looking at for these specific photos. And this next one was another photo indoors, pretty much controlling the lighting and everything. It's just a Rubik's Cube, but when I zoom into this corner, and this is what I've been doing for most of these tests, look at just how much more noise is going to be on the iPhone SE 2 photo. I mean, this is the biggest thing. This whole, like, you know, overall filtering and, you know, post, you know, computations and stuff are good on both, but I think the iPhone 12 mini does a much better job at just taking the photo and reducing the most amount of noise possible. It doesn't have really that much to do with the lenses, I don't think. It has mostly to do with the specific software enhancements that this phone has that the iPhone SE 2 doesn't have. So if you're taking a lot of outdoor photos, you're going to be both fine with both. But if you're taking a lot of indoor photos and pretty bad lighting, you are getting so much more noise in this specific lens than the iPhone 12 mini for 100% of a fact. Now this next photo was another one of Rubik's Cube. And again, if I just zoom into this little corner right here, if I zoom into this little corner, you're pretty much going to see that the iPhone 12 mini did a kind of better job for sure. Again, smoothening out. I think this phone has pretty much the same setup as the iPhone iPhone 8 so that's why you're seeing so much more noise in these type of photos and the 12 mini really does a much better job and especially here I mean look at this this is insane how much noise is in this photo when you zoom out you can't really tell when you zoom in oh my god there's just so many pixels the iPhone 12 mini did a much better job here at smoothening out that whole entire photo so that for sure is so much better and this really makes me excited about the next 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 iPhone I mean how much better of iPhone can they do on top of this now this is night mode on both, I don't think the SE2 has it, and if it did, it didn't really do a good job. Now as you can see, if you zoom into these little corners right here, first of all zooming out, just look how much better the iPhone 12 mini photo looks. I mean, it's so much darker, it grayed out and, you know, lighted out this whole entire area. The 12 mini did a much better job than the SE2 for sure. If I zoom into this little corner, and if I zoom into this little corner, again, so much more noise on the iPhone SE2, it's insane. It's, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, if people care or not, but this is one thing I always look at. Even if you look at the box itself, so much brighter on the iPhone 12 mini. Again, it does have night mode, the SE2 doesn't have it, but with all this noise and stuff, it's pretty insane. Also, if you look at this little section here, you look at this little section, and definitely you're getting a far better looking you know, video and photo quality from the iPhone 12 mini for sure than the iPhone SE 2 for 100% of a fact. But again, these are indoor photos and videos, so that's probably where you're gonna see a majority of the difference if I'm being completely honest. Now this last photo, which I, yep, is the last one, this was actually outdoor photo, which was taken of the sky. And again, if you look at both, I mean, I'll just zoom in right in the middle of this one, and I'll just zoom in right into the middle of this one. And you can see, again, a lot of this has to do with clouds and the clouds moving. So I don't really know if there's gonna be like a complete winner between those. But one thing I've been seeing with a lot of phones is that with the 12 mini specifically, it does brighten up the overall shot. So if you're somebody who takes a lot of photos of the skies and stuff, you're probably going to get a better no you're probably going to get a better less noise experience on the 12 mini than on the iPhone SE 2. So 
that really pretty much covers most of the photos and videos that I want to go ahead and hit on. I will go ahead and show you the video comparison that I did between both. And what I can tell you is between both phones, like they did a pretty decent job. I was able to see for the most part that the iPhone SE 2 was able to keep up for the most part. You know, it does a really good job. This was an indoor video comparison. I think the colors did look a little bit better on the iPhone 12 mini, even though they were a little lighter. So that was one thing to kind of keep in mind. But I'll tell you, and I've said this before and I'll say it again, I think the iPhone SE 2's back camera is actually pretty decent for a single camera setup. It just so happens that you are getting an additional ultra wide sensor on the iPhone 12 mini, which that in and of itself is really awesome. But when you factor all things considered, I think the iPhone 12 mini is a much better camera quality experience than the iPhone SE 2. And I don't think really anybody's really shocked about that. And even throughout this experience of this camera quality test, I pretty much saw that, you know, case point, point, point again. And I pretty much saw that happen again and again. So I think definitely when it comes down to this specific camera test, the iPhone 12 mini is far better. I was pretty shocked by how weird the SE2's camera is now. I feel like before, earlier this year, when I did a camera comparison between this phone and a lot of other phones, I wasn't really seeing too many crazy differences. But now when I compare them, I'm definitely seeing some bigger differences for sure. So when it comes down to both phones, I'll definitely tell you, Get what you can if a certain phone fits in your price tag better then go ahead and pick it up if the sc2 is a better value for you then 100 percent of the fact pick it up it's still faster and everything but you are getting a much better camera quality experience from the iphone 12 mini than on the iphone sc2 for sure from my test and from everything i tested that's pretty much what i was kind of seeing at so that really pretty much covers it up if you guys have any other questions or anything let me know in the comment section below Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.